if you have fallen victim to finding a gorgeous piece of clothing on Pinterest only to realize that it is an 18th century museum piece, I totally know how you feel and I've got you covered. I've seen this meme kind of go around a lot and I just thought I'd help out a little bit. For my credentials, here are my really cool clothes. These are some of my favorite finds. Very whimsical, vintage, and delicate. Through my experience finding eclectic beauties, I have gained quite a bit of information that is helpful when finding vintage items, antiques, whimsical, and angelic pieces for all price points. In this video, we will look at different secondhand shops and thrift shops to go to, Etsy sellers to follow, small businesses to look into, and even some search words on eBay. I have something for all price ranges, ranging from antique to modern to antique lookalikes. So if you want to know where to find any of these items, we'll first look into secondhand shops. Firstly, I'm going to start with the basics. You're going to want to look up thrift shops, resale shops, antique shops, and antique markets on Google Maps. I get most of my everyday items from Goodwill, but if I'm looking to find some really cool antique pieces or really cool vintage pieces, I will usually go to the Goodwill outlet. They have rows of bins with discarded items for two to three dollars a pound. I have found antique style corset covers, books from the late 1800s, two vintage gunny sacks dresses, plenty of beautiful bustiers, and more. Also definitely utilize your local thrift stores and local resale stores because that is where you're going to find the bulk of your items. Next, if you want antique pieces, of course antique stores are great, but I personally prefer antique markets. These can be found on Google pretty easily. I love to look up antique markets in my area wherever I'm going, so if I'm going to a different state or a different country, it's one of my favorite things to look up. I personally like antique markets with lots of vendors, especially if they're in a warehouse or outside, you're usually going to get better prices. If you're looking for brand new clothes and accessories or shopping online, I've got you there too. I've personally only shopped at about four of these places, but I've heard pretty reputable reviews from other people. Eastmade is the first online shop that I'm going to show on here, and it's probably the most popular. I see a lot of people I follow on Instagram and TikTok wear items from here. They sell these beautiful corsets, dresses, skirts, and more. They all feel very magical and lean more into the cottage core and coquette aesthetics. Most of their pieces range from $50 to $100, and they have a plus size section too, up to a size 4XL. They also just came out with their spring collection, and I am loving all of the dresses. Next, we have Tabby Socks, which is a tight brand. They make these beautiful pattern tights. They have multiple collections, including the museum collection, based off of museum pieces and other wonderful collections, including the William Morris collection, which I thoroughly adore. I don't know how their rip quality is, but they are 98% nylon and 2% spandex. The patterns are so cool and all the colors are so vibrant. All these tights are 35 US dollars and I'd love to try them out sometime. Next, we have Office 7 Shop on Etsy. This is where I got this beautiful two-in-one corset. I know you've seen it in all of my videos because I wear it all the time, but she is so beautiful. And here's the corset inside out. So pretty. They are pricey, but the quality is absolutely amazing. And they have pretty good sales once or twice a year usually. I bought my two-in-one corset for about 130 and I've worn it probably at least once a week since 2021. It still looks brand new. I have traveled and walked miles in cities in this piece and it is still perfect. They have so many gorgeous two-in-one corsets made for your measurements with beautiful art on them and so many beautiful reversible dresses. Next, we have Dreamers Rebels. I have not tried this brand, but they sell these beautiful upcycled garments they are more pricey, but if you are looking for a gorgeous staple, one of these garments would definitely be a lovely addition. They make some custom pieces and their price ranges between about 100 and 200 pounds. My favorites include this puffer coat as well as this beautiful bow dress. I want so badly to wear this gorgeous dress to a fancy dinner in some beautiful French chateau. It would be my dream. On Etsy, I've been eyeing these beautiful cat clogs from Agatha Alessa. Clogs usually aren't really my thing, but I've been really wanting to buy some of these. I love anything with cats on it, so these are perfect. 
They have some beautiful designs for around $70, including these ladybug clogs and these other cute designs. They seem to have stellar reviews, so I'll probably buy the cat ones soon. Also on Etsy, I've been finding some beautiful ancient style jewelry shops. I bought these two beautiful rings from Gemtai Turk a while back, and I've been wearing them every day pretty much. The amethyst one was about $32 and the other one was about $35. They have so many beautiful rings and earrings, and I just want to buy their entire shop. Anyways, here's some more from their shop. It's absolutely gorgeous. Other similar jewelry stores on Etsy include Palada and Arts My RNA. I'm going to show some of the jewelry from both of these shops right now. I love how all their jewelry gives off this ancient mystical vibe. All of their items are around $30, which is pretty cool. They are inspired by Roman art. Lastly, for jewelry from Etsy, we have this brand called Gozum Retaliere, I believe. They sell these Greek face necklaces, rings, and earrings. The ancient faces are my favorite, but they also sell brutalist jewelry as well. They are all silver and silver plated, and most of these items are around $20 to $30. I feel like you could really use these accessories to really spice up an interesting outfit. Back into clothing, we have Antique where I got this amazing corset. Again, if you have watched any of my recent videos, I have worn these. I bought this gorgeous corset in 2021 for around $60. I absolutely love Antique. Antique has so many vintage and antique lookalikes for somewhat affordable prices. Most items are from about $50 to $100 and as you can see, you can find Gunny Sachs replicas and dresses that look straight out of Pride and Prejudice for $70 to $90. I'm not going to get the quality of a $300 dress, but it is very good for the price. They do run a bit small, but I definitely look at their sizing chart before purchasing. I love that they have dresses inspired by different eras of time. So you've got like early 19th century to like Rococo, just all kinds of stuff for pretty affordable prices. Next we have Rosie Evans Online. Again, this one is a little bit pricey, but they are so talented and creative and I absolutely love their work. I certainly believe that the price is worth it. They have some really interesting corsets, corset jackets, skirts, knitwear, and more. Several really cool artists have worn their pieces on stage, including The Last Dinner Party. I don't really know their music, but their style is really cool. Most items cost anywhere between 80 and 300 pounds. I love this medieval inspired dress and all the corset jackets the absolute most. Switching to another jewelry brand, we have armorandcastings.com, which I found off of Pinterest. Replicas of all kinds of eras of jewelry for affordable prices. They have replicas of rings, brooches, earrings, buttons, buckles, crowns, and so much more from the years 500 to 1900 BCE. They have items inspired by items from the High Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the Viking Age, and more from all kinds of different cultures. The rings are my favorite and they're pretty affordable for the most part. This shop is definitely cool if you want to shop for Ren Fair as well. Back to clothing, I'm going to show you where to find some really beautiful corsets for about $100 to $200. Firstly, we have Lena Sobe Studio. She makes the most beautiful made-to-order and custom corsets. There aren't too many ready-to-ship items on her website right now, but I like to check for new arrivals pretty often. Next, we have Fenuela Bell. I love the fabric that she uses and all of her lace. Sadly, her designs get ripped off from websites like AliExpress and Shein pretty often, so I think it's really important to show the original artist. Lastly, for corsets, we have Flora May. I have talked about her before in my last videos because I really, really love her work. They make beautiful corsets, skirts, scrunchies, and more. They make custom corsets for about 100 to 115 pounds and custom underbusts for 75. They all look so beautiful and they have a wide selection of beautiful vintage looking fabrics and corset shapes so you can get exactly what you're looking for. The skirts are also really cool. They're lacy and dainty and beautiful. Next we have Liberty May. They're the creator of the iconic Celestial Belts you've probably seen all over the internet 
and kind of off topic but her website is so cool. She makes a lot of cool jewelry too as well as some other clothes and accessories. The belts are between 38 to 40 pounds and I've heard they are very durable. I think these accessories are such a beautiful way to spice up an outfit. Next we have your Ptashka couture. She makes the most beautiful dresses for 150 to 200 euros. Look absolutely beautiful and they are made for your measurements. I see them as a size inclusive, sometimes cheaper option in relation to vintage Gunny Sachs dresses. I follow the artist on Instagram and her designs and her posts are so beautiful and they just give off the most beautiful whimsical vibe. I don't even know which dress is my favorite, but I love all of the interesting sleeves and details on each piece. Next we have Bug Knit, which is a crochet and knit shop. I love the name by the way. I've seen their flower sweaters on Pinterest, but I really love their swan ones as well. These are pretty expensive and the most expensive shop I'm going to show on here. Each sweater is between 240 and 250 US dollars, but it takes a long time to make these items. And once again, it is one person creating all of these garments, so I totally understand the price point. Next we have Rahib Funky. This is definitely more from my whimsigoth and fairy core fans. Most pieces cost between 50 to 70 pounds and they incorporate a lot of fun colors, velour, and interesting shapes. They're not very size inclusive, but I really like their designs and fun fabrics. I love the plum vampress top, the renaissance rust lace up top, and all of the skirts. The skirts are so, so cool. So we have this brand called Linen Naive, I believe. This is for my babes that love frolicking through gardens. They are all made with linen and other sustainable fabrics, and they hold inspiration from historical garments. Most of these dresses are about $150 to $180, and they have coats and skirts as well. I personally really love their purple dresses. Next we have the last jewelry band I'm going to show. This is Medea on Instagram. Make all of their items. I'm not sure how much they charge for their items since you must DM them for commissions or purchases, but I just wanted to show off this artist since their pieces look so cool. They're just so talented and I love all of the interesting shapes and the artist is just so talented, once again. Last small business is Whimsical Lace. This shop is family owned and they make and sell handmade dresses fit to your specific measurements, dress length, fabric, and more. These dresses are so dainty and pretty and this is definitely a shop for my tea party babes. The dresses range from 108 to 218 US dollars. I would definitely suggest looking into their work if you love feminine lovely dresses. Now that we have looked at some new clothing items, I'm going to show you how to find some cool, cheap, antique, and vintage items from eBay. Firstly, of course, I always put the price range lowest to highest, or I put a minimum and a maximum price. I also sometimes try to spell the words wrong just to find some of the listings that are being pushed back because of that. Now the interesting part, here are some search words that I look up every time I'm on eBay. These search words are good for finding antiques, usually more like prairie dresses and lacy tops, while these words are better for finding vintage pieces like beaded tops or penny lane coats. And these last search words are what I look for when I try to find cool jewelry. Well, that is all I have for you today. I really hope that this inspires your wardrobe and I am personally manifesting that everyone finds whatever finds that they're looking for. If you enjoyed this video, I would be so grateful if you please subscribed and checked out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.